Hey everyone, this is Justin from techunfolding.com and in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to make a bootable USB of Linux. This can be any version of Linux of your choice. It's just simply by using one program. This can be used um, if you have a netbook because you don't have a, a CD or DVD drive. It can be used uh, just even saving CDs or DVDs because you don't need to keep burning those Linux versions on the CDs. Um, a few things that are required in this are um, a computer that has the ability to boot uh, off USB and um, a 1 gig plus uh, USB drive. Now I suggest a 2 gig just because some Linux versions um, ISOs are bigger than 1 gig. I know Ubuntu is like a CD size so it's less than 70 megabytes. But I strongly recommend that you get a 2 gigabyte instead of a 1, but a 1 should do you if, if you're doing Ubuntu. Um, basically, so to start with, I suggest you go right away to your website, to the, the, the Linux version website that you want to choose. Um, I recommend Ubuntu, it's very good. Um, but doing, you can download um, the, the Linux versions off this program as well but it will be much easier if you just go to a website and do it because uh, you can more, more than likely most of them have uh, torrent versions which save a lot of time instead of downloading off their websites so once you've got your your Linux version of choice and you've got that ISO on your computer you're going to open up the program, the program is called UNET Bootin um, this program can be downloaded at techunfolding.com it's uh, the link is provided in this video where you can download it from you just go look underneath the download uh, section and just download it um, it's a pretty small it from what I've tested it works on XP Vista and Windows 7 so uh, it's pretty good and um, yeah so I'll show you how to do it so up here in distribution which we're not going to use if you wanted to you could select the Linux version of your choice and then uh, download it that way but as I said it's much easier just to download it from a website like Ubuntu.com um, and then okay so now what we're going to do once you've had that image on your computer is you're going to select disk image you're going to make sure that ISO is selected you're going to go over here to the browse and you're going to go and select the image that you've downloaded in my, my uh, case I've downloaded Backtrack and I've selected the ISO. Once you've had the ISO selected, you're now going to go down here where it says type and uh, USB drive. You're going to make sure that is on USB. You can select hard drive, but I don't select that. I don't recommend that, sorry. Um, and in drive, you're going to select I or whatever your, your drive n uh, name is. Um, if you don't know the name of your drive, uh, the letter of your drive you can go into my computer or computer and um, check the letter of your drive then then once you, once you have everything set up and everything the way uh, the way it should be you're gonna click OK um, if you have data on your drive it will ask you to overwrite this data so if there is stuff you want on it to make sure you uh, take it off before because this will completely uh, wipe it out so you, if you want to delete it all, click yes to all, and uh, the process will now begin of extracting and copying the files of that ISO image and making them bootable onto that USB drive. Um, for most, it only takes a couple minutes; it's pretty fast. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Once it's done, you will want to uh, restart your computer, go into BIOS, and make sure um, make sure you have USB booted and uh, make sure you have that drive selected and um, if you don't know how to do this um, in that link that I provided at techunfolding.com uh, there is uh, instructions an instruction link on how to change the configuration in BIOS um, it's actually pretty easy once you know how to do it you can just change it back and forth just make it USB bootable and then you never need to worry about it again because if you pull out the USB it will just automatically go to your hard drive um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, for more information, make sure you go to techonfolding.com 
and because we do have written instructions there. And uh, we'll see you.